Welcome to Paint with Bua. Today we're going to paint some hair. This is my studio and welcome. The hair is in front of the ocean here. It has to be darker. So we just want to create a silhouette. So let's do that. We'll take a little bit of our ivory black. There's ivory black and there is Mars black. Ivory's a little bit more neutral, Mars a little bit warmer. And this is burnt sienna. And we're gonna, that's gonna be the base. Gonna be the base, and as I mix, see? Twist, 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 twist. Like that, I'm twisting it because I want it to be even, otherwise it'll be streaky. I don't want it to be streaky. No streakies. Okay. So this hair is falling off and as you know hair at the end gets really thin and I'm gonna come back with this one as well and this is by the way the underplane here so the top where it's affected by atmosphere is lighter here is darker like that so this is just a quick little lesson not only in hair but in silhouetting light And as you can see, my gloves are a little squeaky because I do not want to get paint on my fingers because I have a cut in my finger and it doesn't feel good. Usually I touch it and I probably touch it too much because everyone's asking, what is it? Is it acrylic? Is it oils? It's acrylic. It's acrylic. So, but acrylic's not toxic. They say that, but talk to me in like 20 years when it turns out it is toxic and then, you know what I mean? So. We, we've got to really get this whole, just pushing it in real fast, getting that shape in, as you can see the silhouette here. And sometimes I don't need a light side like I do here necessarily. God, when I, you know it's funny, when I move to another area, I just gotta fix it. I gotta fix it, I gotta fix it, always gotta fix it. This is one of those paintings for a client that is, I've spent so much time on, it could probably just take me a lifetime. But I'm actually pretty close. See, going back in, just the darkness there. But here, because the hair is against this light and the wave, you, you probably just want to have it a really cool shape, a silhouetted shape of the hair moving in the wind. It's got this undulating energetic frequency like that. Very, very, very meditative to do this. Even though I'm just filling it in, it's like when you see kids doing coloring books, you're like, oh my God, they're so entranced. It's because it's meditative. They're putting down shape and color and design and drawing and painting is super meditative and it's really good for slowing your heart rate down. A lot of people use yoga, but I use painting because painting is a way to just chill and be calm, cool, and collected. Okay, here, here's where it's getting crazy. So the last part here, we wanna make it really thin and just kinda of taper off like that. See, it's a good shape. And coming back on here. Now we could do a light side on that, uh, that hair, but I don't think we really need to. So all these here, and there's another hair As long as it's moving in the wind. But remember, this hair is in front of that wave. See, so if we back out, this whole character is in front of that wave. See, she's in front of the wave. So let's get back a little bit here because even though it's atmospheric, it's fine. And hair is soft edged usually but you see how this edge is a little harder? It's because I'm stylizing her. And it's okay to do that. It's okay to do that. And we wanna really maybe get a darker dark. Make sure, so I'm only working with two colors right now. But let's just take a look at maybe how a light would work itself in there. So, 
clean the brush. Always got to clean the brush. I'm going to take that Sienna here with a little bit of that Cad Yellow Medium. And that's a, that's a really beautiful color here. See that? See, twirling the brush, but that's a beautiful color. It's really, really beautiful. That was my other color. So I could already see what the difference is, right? That's the hair and that's the light side of the hair. So I already figured that out. So here, you wanna just touch, touch the tops just a little bit, just to make sure that there's some warmth up here. I don't recommend touching your paint. I do it all the time, but I would say don't do it. It just, you just don't know. Now here, remember we said we're gonna silhouette it. All of a sudden I'm adding with, you know, light side, which is actually adding form. And it's okay to do that. Um, I don't know if we need it. I don't know if it's just a little, you know, extra at this stage, but it's just light tickling the top of that hair. It's still silhouetted. And it's subtle. And I like it because it's warm and it plays off against the cools of the sky, especially here on the hair. This is really playing nicely off the uh, off the sky. And kind of come back in with that dark because we don't want that wave showing through, right? Because it's silhouetted. Here we go. Okay. So when you when you do this on your own, just make sure you get a nice shape, whatever you're painting. So we're painting hair, get a nice kind of fun shape. And make sure it feels like hair too. All hair, there's so many different types of hair, but it's all shapes. That's cool. Like it shows her red hair. So that was less on hair, even though it was painted on my pre-existing painting. I wanted you guys to see how I do it, and you can use it for your own hair when you're painting hair. Uh, please leave a comment below and tell me what you guys want me to paint. I take these comments very seriously, sometimes if they're serious. <laughs>